Hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing good today. Welcome to Take a Walk with Me and Garden Update. Today's Saturday, June 11th. Hey, you want to do the rest of the the weather, Mr. No? Well, yeah, I, I guess I, I'll try it. Uh, uh, today's Saturday, June 11th. Uh, current temperature is 70 degrees. Uh, high today is 83. Uh, the rain chance is 50%. Uh, humidity, uh, it's really humid, uh, 90%. And the wind is at zero mile per hour. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that weather report. And I've been forgetting to show our little friend here for our, our giveaway, which ends tomorrow, so I think I better get with it. <clears throat> the contest is called Hashtag Name the Gnome 2. That's all one word. The prize is a packet of seeds of the winner's choice. I've got vegetable and wildflower, or I can give both, whatever. Uh, the rules, you must be subscribed. Press the like button. The prize can only be delivered in the U.S. However, if anyone outside the U.S. would like to submit a name, it's okay. I just can't send the prize. Uh, in your comment, put hashtag name the gnome too, all one word, and your choice for his name. Uh, YouTube has nothing to do with this. You must be 18 to enter. And the winner will be picked tomorrow, July 12th. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll check the comments one more time uh, tomorrow before the before I do the uh, video. So let's have fun with it. And this little guy needs a name. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm tired of being a no name guy. And I uh, someone told me, and I'm sorry if I can't remember who. Now it does look that way. That's an umbrella in his drink. That's an umbrella. I didn't know what it was at first. And of course his sign says it's five o'clock somewhere. So we'll do that. Let me lay him down. Well, I'll have to put him back out here in a minute. Okay. Well, what's for dinner, everyone? We have uh, either we're going to roast the vegetables or we're going to have, ch I've got chicken out. Uh, probably going to have some chicken stir fry because I got some. Uh, eggplant, some of the Japanese eggplant, the shikao, I think it's called, and I've got uh, a zucchini, and I got my squashini, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what else. I I, thought, I might even I don't want to harvest a, a whole cabbage. I want them to get bigger. I'd like to have some cabbage in it, but I don't know if you can just take some leaves off of them or what. So, uh oh, this thing's about to fall. But yeah, we're going to have some kind of something with chicken and vegetables from the garden. Fall on those. There we go. I planted the uh, I planted the card that I showed yesterday. That uh, you plant the whole card. I planted it down there in that blue pot. And the other one, I planted some of those mystery seeds. But I, I do believe they're tomato seeds. But I don't know what, what kind they are. But, uh, this one here that I brought out here yesterday needs, it needs some TLC for a while. I don't know if it'll make it or not. Ferns are kind of fickle anyway, but I need to get some of this dead stuff. I already got some of it out. I thought I'd get it out here with all these other ones. It might come to. There's some flowers. Well, they take a while before they'll get the sunflower on them. Um. <clears throat> These tomato plants are getting a little lanky. 
but you know it's just an experiment I, I don't really have another place to put another one of them out there right now without crowding something else out so I don't know what I'll do with these I mean they'll, they can keep growing here but they'll just keep growing up I might have to top them if I top them cut the little very top off they'll start growing branches instead of taller they'll grow branches <clears throat> which I might have to do that but everybody's looking pretty good out here not as many flowers out right now still none of the fairy moor seeds uh, carrot seeds have come up yet but some of the others have those over there looking pretty good the cayenne i think that's a what is that one sweet banana pepper you can see this big Big one's looking a little bit better every day. Pretty soon it's going to be eaten. Some of these squirrels don't mind me. I mean, they just go about their business. And some of them get scared off pretty easy. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> Tomatoes are doing great. It's hard to see the tomatoes back through there. I don't know if you can see, you know, back through here might be able to see them. And peppers are looking pretty good, considering. And we finally got a pinstripe eggplant. Let's see if I can touch it without. There it is. It's purple and white be a pinstripe I guess I didn't get that it's not uh, focusing is good for some reason I don't see any female flowers this morning they always have plenty of the male flowers but Eggplant, it's getting bigger. I mean, not eggplant, that's butternut squash. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some of these string beans for mom, I mean, uh, snap peas for mom today. There's quite a few of them around. I'm leaving some of these to get seed. To use for seed. I got I try to remember where they are. There's one right there. I don't know if that's a ladybug or what that is back in there, but there's a bug. Uh, don't look like a ladybug to me. I don't really know what that is. I hope it ain't something that eats. Snap peas. <laughs> See how this tomato looks compared to those over there? I think it's probably because they're not, even though I have them out there in the sun, so they don't get it as much as this, like these out here do. Wow, look at this big. Now see, that's a, this is a female butternut squash flower. But I don't think there's a, let me see if there's a male one right now. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can get this. You can see the difference right here. And I'm going to take this and we'll rub it on the. I gotta pull it back so. This one don't have a whole lot of <coughs> pollen on it. Okay. Let's 
see that there. Take it down here. I'll rub it around. All over that. I can see some of the yellow. Trying to get everything I can on it. Now, that one should, instead of rotting, that one should <clears throat> get bigger. You know. Of course, lots of times the bees will do that for us. You know, they have to go from one to the other to do it, though. You know. And that sometimes doesn't happen, so. Oh, we ate the cucumber that was out here last night, and it was delicious. So, I'm looking forward to more of them. You know. And you see the little ones everywhere, but they'll take a while to grow. Sure. The green beans look good. Like I said, I already harvested some off of them. You have to get in there and search around for them. It's hard to see them. Let's see if I can see them from over here. Yeah, you can see them. Can get in here. See what I mean? They're in there. See? You have to kind of get in there with them. Huh. Okay. This cabbage, I mean, it'll get bigger. I hate to get one. And I don't know if these would taste the same, these big old, you know, leaves. I'm going to get probably this celery right there. Probably that one for mom. No Brussels yet. They take a long time, obviously. I've been watching them every day. This tomato plant's doing okay. Um... I showed you the pinstripe. Obviously, this one here is a Ghostbuster, too, because look. See it? Little white one. And little, little white one in there, too. Back in there. So, we're going to have more Ghostbusters. And all of these will turn into. You can barely see it in there. You can see that one right there. So eggplants are doing fabulous. You know, I got two of them in there right now that I was afraid would get eaten when those other did. So we're gonna have them tonight. They weren't huge, but um, this one's still hanging in there, getting bigger. And then I got this one here for mom. That one. Back in there. Look to mom. The leeks aren't very big, I don't think. Yet. Okay. See how the rock's doing here. Looking great. I need to come out here and get some uh, seeds. It looks like a poppy seed or something. Almost right there. Everybody looks great out here. See some pretty uh, pink flowers that I haven't seen back there. I'll show you. I like these. I'll show you this one. This right here. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. 
I love it. See what the thermometer says here. 78. Let's see if these birds are out here. Oh. See some bees. There's a dragonfly. Took off though. They won't let you get too close to them, dragonflies. They take off. Yeah, some of these corn flowers are spent now. I need to just pull them up probably. There's a little bee. There's so many of these seeds in the ground. After they die, they some of them fall off and stuff, go down in there like that. Just take them like that, they'll grow. They'll grow next year. Just take and throw some of them down in there. And then I can pull them up once it's dead. Yep, they've done really good. There's been thousands of flowers on those corn flowers. Nobody wants that little old desk they put out. Yay, we're still going. This one here is a tree. Figured. Yay. They're trying to they're trying to grow. Trying. Keep trying. Don't quit. Just trying to get a little flower. There. Huh. That'd be nice. Nice to have a flower, bigger flower. They've got these little ones here, right there. But. I hope everything makes it here. Yeah, fairly nice day. I think it's supposed to storm at some point in time today. Looks 
Okay. Still could stand the rake more, but boy, it's rough out here when it's hot. There's a train. That brace feels good. I could afford to have this driveway sealed, but it's a long driveway. Expensive. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to show, if I can remember, Diane, I'll show what sucker leaves are. I tend to forget some things. I don't write it down and have it with me. <gasps> I'm peaceful today. Okay, I think I'll show on these plants in here. It's very easier to tell on them. Sucker leaves basically stop the growth of the of, uh, new stems from growing. They're the ones that come off the main branch, like these little ones are not even. But, uh, let's see. Where's my So, you'll see this poor little one here is not going to make it. Uh, these here, there can be branches would normally grow from out here, but if you don't cut these off near the bottom, especially, you'll never have any growth new stems. Like, it's this. Like these. I'm not going to, I don't ever cut a bunch of them off at once. But like I'll just take this one here and cut it off. And then usually down in this little nook here, there'll be a stem start to come out and grow. Um, I don't see any good examples in here because these are trying to be lanky. But uh, I cut all of those off down near the bottom, especially. Now, if I was to take this one like these three here and if i was to cut the very top of it off right here that would promote the growth of the new branches in here you can barely see one right here in the corner you can see a little stem trying to grow and it won't grow until you get rid of that sucker like that so yeah I, I don't cut them off to where it's bare I just cut one or two off at a time myself and like I said I'm thinking about topping these here because they're just gonna keep getting taller and uh, I'll just go ahead and do one to show you I'm just gonna take and cut this very top off right here right there now, this thing will start growing. you start to see places come out here and here. When they get established, I'll cut, I'll cut the sucker leaf off. And, uh, let's see. This very top right here. Right there. Very top of that. And right here. Let's see where it is. 
I cut that very top off right there. Now, you'll see, I'll show you in days to come, these are good to experiment on. These uh, ones in here, because I can get to them so easy. Just cutting those bottom ones off. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. If I'll show you the progress of them. And uh, I have nothing to lose with these. I just grew them from seeds, you know, to see if they would grow. They were seeds from last year. Uh, in a package that I had from last year. I was just seeing if they were still viable. But uh, <clears throat> they should start to do like I said. I may have to cut a little bit more on those two. I, I did cut the whole top off that one. But I'll show you, you know, what they do if you after you top them. They should start to turn into more of a bush. <clears throat> All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's walk and garden update and info and sucker leaves. Like I said, I've had to cut a bunch of them out here. You can see near the bottom where it's not as got as much foliage just because I've had to cut uh, a bunch of sucker leaves off. It's hard to get in there. I think I'm going to have to get out here and give them some water. So please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, I don't know what I'll get into today. I may have a kitty's corner. I've got some jokes that were sent to me by Jump Off A. <clears throat> and we just, if it's so hot, we just can't sit out here, uh, you know, and have an afternoon break and do them. But I'll figure something out. So, everybody, I'll see you later on. God bless.